well. It, it was a tight game for about 10 minutes, yeah. and then you pulled away. What did you like from the way the team responded there in that stretch? Well, it was a physical game. Uh, in the physical game, we matched up to it. I really liked the way we rebounded. That was a concern from the last game. I didn't think we did a good enough job of it. I thought our transition was good. Uh, I thought our, our rebounding was good and our defense held them at bay. A very strong, long team. The kind of SEC reminds you of an SEC team. A lot of length and size, and uh, we matched up to it. And that was the most pleasing thing. I thought that uh, uh, we had we had different spurts. Warren got us off to a good start with a couple of threes early. Warren Gillis made some big shots. Then uh, Josh in the second half made some nice plays. Marcus Freeman off the bench. Again, I think that's one thing that we've seen through the course of this week. Is yeah. We've added some depth. Uh, our Colt, seven rebounds in 11 minutes on the perimeter. That's nice. So a very good team effort uh, where everybody contributed and did some nice things. And when you go on the road and get a win, it's, 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 it's always good. 4-0 uh, in league play. What's your evaluation to this point? Well, you can't get any better than that. You know, we just know that we just got to take them one game at a time. And we're very proud of what we're doing right now. But, you know, uh, come Monday, it'll be a different game. we got to focus on that. Have you looked at Campbell at all yet? Do you have a sense for them? Uh, well, don't have enough. I know that McCarter and Ryan back on their team certainly gives them the spark that they need. And, uh, you know, I know they're a good team. Is there anything you might have to do differently uh, using your depth just to kind of do some of these guys that break with their legs and everything? Well, you know, this is like a tournament. You know, uh, Campbell is going to come on the backside like it's a bye. They didn't play Thursday. So it's kind of like the tournament in which we've had to play the extra game. We just got to, and we're on the road. We're at their place. So that's kind of the way we're looking at it. Um, it was tied 2020 or 2017. They were up, and you guys went on a 13-0 run. How pivotal was that stretch? And what was the mindset? It's kind of taking control of the game right there. Uh, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a good stretch for us because it was going into halftime, and, and things started getting a little testy out there. They started talking trash. So it was, it was good for us, and it sort of picked us up. And once we went on that run, we, we just had so much energy it carried over into the second half. Were they firing you guys up a little bit there with the way things started? Oh yeah, they, they were. Especially when they, I think they took a lead on the three and it sort of got they got a little mouthy, but it was it was okay after that. Uh, your shot was pretty smooth today. Just what were you feeling individually? Uh, I, was, I was feeling a little bit, and I just wanted to be aggressive with the shot since I was getting good looks. I didn't want to pass up good looks. Especially, actually, got I think everybody got good looks, and we just we told everybody you got a good look, take it. And that, was, that was the whole team motto. Um, Four and zero starting conference play. It's one that has planned at this point, I guess. Uh, how do you feel about the way things progressed? Uh, we're, getting, we're getting better each game, and, and we're not really trying to worry about the record because the record doesn't carry over to the game. You don't get extra points for being 4-0 or no anything. So we just, worry, we just worry about getting better every day.